It's Friday, July the 15th, and it's a serious day today. Very serious. As I was awoken last night, pretty late, I, I thought it was perhaps 4 or 5 a.m. It was actually probably 2 a.m. And I arose with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion, really. It's pretty clear now that there was another terrorism attack in Nice, France. It's just undescribable. The horror, the terror, the, the slaughter of, of innocent people. I saw an interview with a, with a person who's in charge of a country, and his response was just really shocking. Well, how do you know that the, the children were really there? Huh, maybe that maybe they photoshopped those children into the picture to make it look like that we had run. Talk about minimizing uh, damage. Talk about the, the, the destruction. Let's look at God's word today and uh, see what see what God's word has, shall we? All right. This is John 3 and verse 16. For God so loved, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light. For their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who practices the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be manifest as having been wrought in God. And these things Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and he was spending time with them and baptizing. Well, that's God's Word, my friend, and this is Bob, and I'm coming to you live from the Casa del Green here above the, the Rose Bowl, and it's all the more horrific to think that the French people were celebrating Bastille Day. They were celebrating fireworks had just ended, and, and some madman, some massacre person comes through and is trying to destroy human beings. Simply abhorrent. Today's word is value. Value. And you might say, well, gee, Bob, this is sure a crazy thing to, to be um, looking at today. And how does, how does value, how does value tie in with, with God's word and what we just read? Well, it's very simple. Are you listening? I want you to stop right now. I want you to listen. If you're listening just on the audio, and by the way, I do recommend that. A lot of people, I don't understand it really. I can't, I can't really understand uh, how in a 24-hour day, you don't have 10, 10 minutes or so to, to listen to God's Word or to just watch a quick, quick devotional. I mean, I, I don't really understand it myself. I, I think that it's... it's we, a lot of people, a lot of people have plenty of time. A lot of people have time to sit around and to, uh, you know, do whatever they're going to do all day and go to Starbucks and wait in line and, and all that. But if you and I were to take the time to go through that, that gate of life and to express to God our, our love, our devotion, to travel the distance it takes to say, Father, I love you and I need you and I want you in my life. And God, whatever it takes, if it takes me a three or four hours to, wow, let's see here. Somebody's had the gate open for some reason. All right, if it takes me 
several hours to access and to, to have the Holy Spirit. I remember one time Chelsea Smith, Judah Smith's wife, she was talking and she said that her son, who was a good boy, and he wasn't just a good boy because of the fact that the Lord made him, he was a good boy because of the parenting that was being done in the Smith home. Uh, Judah Smith and, and Chelsea are awesome, awesome parents. And uh, give me a moment here. I'm gonna check something out with this car here. I've got one of my one of my folks that was involved with the uh, Casa Del Green made a mistake and they left. Uh, I don't know how they did it. <laughs> All right, take a look. See, it's just. Uh, this car does not show a lot of value. And, well, back to Chelsea. So what happened was this, is that the boy had done something inappropriate, something that wasn't right. And he needed to be disciplined. Well, in this particular case, the boy, he, he didn't, he didn't do anything uh, about it. He couldn't care. He was like, I'm not going to break. I'm not going to submit to your authority. Well, Chelsea did a very wise thing. She hung in there and she stuck with the discipline and she did not relinquish the punishment. She said, this is what's going to happen. And so after many, many hours, it had never happened before, after many, many, many hours, the boy finally broke. And he, he, he let the Holy Spirit into his life. And never since that day has, has Chelsea ever had uh, a challenge like that with her boy. And she feels as though in the spiritual realm, there was a wall that was broken down. Right here in front of me is a, it's a rock wall. And you can see the... Uh, the choices that, that this empty house has made next door. At one time when I moved in, there was a beautiful St. Augustine grass. There were roses all along here, blooming quite beautifully. Right now, I put this plant in many years ago, and there's some more, more jade, and I planted that tree over there. <laughs> but you can see without care, without love, without affection, without a sense of of honor and duty that this property just just remains without value the property has value it's, it's in this neighborhood it's a very valuable property but these folks don't value putting anything into it now we're gonna walk over here to the Costa del Green and here we are take a look what a difference this is the Costa del Green and this is the next door which one shows value? Which one shows life and health and vibrancy? This is the same, this is the same neighborhood. These are the same pieces of earth. And yet here at the Casa del Green, I value my property and I value my choices. And I take time to do what's right with my property. And for years and years and years, I have done that because I value my property. Now let's take a look at you and I and our relationship with Jesus Christ. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, if you haven't opened your heart to God, I'm gonna ask you today to stop. You can play this tape over and over if you like to. I want you to stop and just consider something. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's shown his lordship and he showed his, his life and power by rising from the dead. There's simply no doubt about that. It was clearly established and it's been clearly verified over and over and repeatedly over the millennia that God rose from the dead, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he did what he said he was going to do. And that's, there's no question about that. So when the Lord says certain things in the Bible, we have to take, have to take him at his word. And we need to 
trust his word. I pray that you will today. Let's pray. Father, we bring you close to our hearts. We draw near to you, God, and not just because there's a tragedy in France, not just because the officers were killed in Dallas, not just because of the school shootings, not just because, no, God, we draw near to you because you are our Father, you are our God, you are our Lord. God, come into our heart. We receive you in Jesus' name, amen. Now that you've just received Christ, you get to start reading the Bible. And I want you to do another thing. I want you to go ahead and, and speak to someone else about your, your relationship with Jesus Christ. Talk to them and say, hey, I just accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Please tell me more about Jesus and start reading God's Word and get to a Bible-believing church. Don't go to some fruitcake church that's, that's, you know, oh yeah, whatever you want to do, it's okay. God loves everybody. Yeah, here's a daisy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that may be a really sweet place, and maybe there's a lot of really sweet, sincere people. But we don't need sweet, nice people. That's not going to do it. You aren't going to go up before the judgment seat of Christ and go, Hi, hi, Jesus. You want a daisy? I mean, <laughs> come on, that's stupidic. We got the almighty God of heaven who's judging, who's dividing between bone and, and sinew. And you better have your backside covered with the blood of Jesus or you're going to be going. You're gone. God is not messing around. He sent his son and he laid his life out to make a provision for you and for me. Now, if you want to play around with God, go ahead. This car next door, we, we saw it earlier, it's not been valued. Do you see how it's kept? There's just... Now, this is a very nice person that has that car. I like that person. The person's a sweet person, but they're not taking care of their car. And now I don't know where the keys are. The, per the other person who moved the car for the other... I don't know where the key... So I'm just like, you know, it's going to cost them something to get that car, you know, started up. I don't know what happened, but... I love you today, and I love my fiance, Jean. We had a very, very serious talk yesterday, and I talked about the fact that, that Jesus Christ died for Jean. And so I cannot disrespect Jean. I cannot be rude to Jean. I love Jean, and it doesn't matter what, how old I get, it doesn't matter what I feel, it isn't about little tingly, little tingly funny, oh, I love Jean, Jean's so sweet, I want to hold her hand, what a treat. No, <laughs> that's nothing to do with it. The Lord God of heaven has given me a wife, and I've committed to that wife, and we have made vows before the Lord. We're going to get to that city hall office and we're going to make that, that, that wedding, uh, wedding the, the, the marriage. We're going to do the paperwork in the marriage and get that straightened out. That's, that's coming soon. For now, we're continuing in prayer. We're continuing before the Lord. And I value Jean and Jean values me. And what I value most about Jean is that she loves Jesus and that she trusts God and that she wants to give her all, 100%, always and ever, to God. And she and I have an agreement that we're not going to worry about our little daisies and, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? I want a daisy. Well, maybe we'll get a daisy. I can walk down here. <laughs> Howdy. So, and all my daisies are gone. You see, the daisies come, the daisies go. Look at this daisy, look. See, daisies, they fade. The blood of Christ will never fade. Good feelings come and go, but God's word is eternal. Father, we thank you for this day, and we commit it to you in Jesus' name. If you need to reach me, go ahead and reach me. Call me, 213-713-8954. You can also email me at 8954greenatt.net. Give me a tweet at BobBob8954. You can go ahead and share this word that we have been given today on Pasadena Bob Devotional on YouTube. God bless you today. You're loved. I love you. And God loves you. Amen. Amen.